Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone JS tutorial from scratch and this is our 12th video session of this video series in which we are going to discuss about model attributes and events. So guys, if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to go to YouTube, type online web tutor, where you will find the several resources about Backbone JS tutorial which we have made, in which we have covered so many topics so far. So in this video session, we are going to discuss about model events as well as its attributes. So this is the coding area where we are going to code. And basically we have implemented or included the three basic library files for backbone application as you can see. Also we have made a simple model in which we have used in slice method. In slice method is access constructor for our backbone model. Here we have written a simple message as you can see model constructor and also we have made object of my model so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page once you refresh under the console tab you will find the message that we have written inside our constructor method of our model so basically this is the event of backbone model which we have discussed so far also Apart from in slice method, we have seen about the get method as well as set method. So let's set some attributes to this model. To set value to this model, just copy this object. All we have done now, we have set the two attributes values to this model object by the help of set method. So just save this file, go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh, just type the object that you have created, that is my model. Just copy this object, go to and paste it here. On clicking enter you can see that the two values which we have set in the attribute section that is author and the name so basically to retrieve these values we use the get method so let's my model dot get suppose if you want to the name of author just type author as a key value for that press enter as you can see this is the author name that we have specified to this value so if you want the name just you need to change the key value under the gate method just press enter as you can see ow2 is the name that we have given to this model object to see all the values in json array just you need to type my model dot to json method by the help of dot to json method we will retrieve all the values of its attributes section just press enter as you can see these are the two values that we have given inside the attribute section of this model object. So, so for now we have seen three different methods. First set method, second get method, as well as we have seen the use of two JSON method. Apart from these methods, we have also seen the constructor method of a model. So here you can find the models events where we have discussed about in slice method, set method and the get method. Apart from these methods, we also discussed about two JSON method. So basically, we don't need to focus on these events because we have seen so far about these. So let's get started with these events that I have written like escape, has, unset, clear and defaults. These are the events that we are going to see in this video session. Just starting with escape. For that, just create a simple view like my view.
So this is the view guys that we have created where we have passed the model as an object of that which we have created so far. And simply under the render method we have consoled all the values of model object into JSON format. So just instantiate that. Just create an object of my view. Just save your file, go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh, you can see all the values which we have passed is now outputted on the console message. So now we are going to use the escape method. To use escape method, just you need to write console.log this.model escape. Here is that name value. This is the key value guys that you need to specify and escape method. And let's write the grid method also because I'm going to compare these two methods. So just I've specified the key like name of this model object. So just save this file, go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh, you can see that all the two outputs of either escape event or as well as gate event all the outputs are same so let's change something in the value of name like i have specified under the paragraph tag here you can write so this will be the same like name attribute just save this file go to browser and refresh this page once you refresh you can see that the gate method Printed the output as it is which we have specified under the name section like we have given the p attribute I mean sorry it's a tag p tag under this p tag we have written owt so simply the git method outputted the same what we have passed into it but as you can see here it converted into the html entities property means the escape value converted all these entities means it's greater than less than symbol means these angular brackets actually converted into its HTML entities values as you can see. So this is the property of escape method. Escape converts all elements into its HTML entities but the gate matter does not convert. So here is the basic difference between the escape method and the gate method. So let's get started with the second method like has. So just remove this action or you can comment that. The has event of model just basically used to check whether we have given any properties to this model or not means suppose we have passed the two parameters for now like name and author so has method basically checks the key which we passed under the has method is actually exist in this model object or not let's write some code console.log here under the has method we have passed the key value means here's the key name we have passed under the has method just save this file go to browser and refresh this page you can see it returns the true value means the name is exist under the set method means we have set the attributes of name just change this I have changed the name into like something like name underscore like which does not exist under this set as you can see. Just save this file, go to browser and refresh this page. It returns the false value. Means as we know that name underscore like does not exist in this set. So it returns false value because it actually checked that this key values exist or not. It actually not exists so it returns false value. So let's make some calculation under this. So just make comment of this code. If this dot model has with this key, then we want something like key exist. Otherwise, key not found. Just save this file, go to browser and refresh this page. 
We know that name underscore like does not exist, so output as expected key not found. So just change it to author. As we know that author has actually defined under this set. So while we're running, we find the key exists as expected output into the browser. So just refresh this page. As you can see, key exists. So basically, the has method is used to check whether the key exists in our set or not. So let's use the another method like unset. Just comment this code. Here I will write console.log test.model.2json. Just save this file, go to browser and refresh this page. You can see the two different JSON array is actually outputted because we haven't commented so far. Just make comment. Refresh this page. We got the value of name as well as the author in the JSON array. So just use unset method for that. This dot model dot unset. Here is the key value that you need to pass like name. Just save this file. Go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh, you can see the name attribute has disappeared from this array because we have unset the value of author. Here we got the value of author because we have actually unset the key value name. Unset means we have removed the name attributes from this set of array. So basically the unset method is used to remove the key value from the array method. Suppose if we want to remove the author value from this array, just copy this key, paste it here. So by using the unset method, we have actually removed the author key from this array. Just save your file, go to browser and refresh this page. You can see the name value which actually left from this array because we have made unset of this key value from this array. Unset method is just similar to clear method but actually the clear method clears all the values from JSON object. This is the object mymodel.set where we have actually set two different attributes for now. If we if suppose if we use this dot model dot clear method by default the clear method removes all the properties that we have set inside this model object. So just comment unset method. So by using clear method, we have removed all the attributes of this my model object. So just save your file, go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh, you find that nothing occurs in this array because we have re made clear all the attributes from this array by using clear method. So by the help of clear method, you can remove all of your keys from any JSON model object. But by the help of unset method, you can specify either which key you want to remove from that array. So this is the basic difference between the unset method and the clear method. Let's see the final method of this video session like defaults. So just define some event like defaults. Defaults attributes of my model basically represents that. So just remove this section, guys, from here. Let's get that. Just paste inside this. Defaults attributes actually, guys, provides the default values of the key which we are going to use. Suppose there are no values in this model. So by default, when there is no values inside the model, the default value will be used. Let's check. Just remove this section. We know that we haven't set any properties of this model object. So by default, all these default values will be used. So just make comment of that. 
uncomment this section so this dot model dot to json will output the default values of this model because we haven't set the custom attributes for now so just save your file go to browser and refresh this page once you refresh you can see the default name and the default author is actually appearing because we haven't set any properties values for this let's apply some custom values for that Now we have set the two attributes values to this model object. So while running this dot model dot to JSON method, it actually calls these values instead of our default values because we have specified the key values of my model object. So just save your file, go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh, you could find that all the default values are nothing appeared. All the values that we have passed to this model object is now outputted into the console. So basically the use of defaults attributes to provide the default values to the key which we are using. Suppose now get rid of key like an author. So we have removed the author key from our model object. So by default the name should be used what we have specified like online web tutor but the author key does not exist in this set so default author will be used. So just save your file go to browser and refresh this page. As you can see the name which we have specified online web tutor has appeared and the author is actually taking its default value. So by default the default value actually provides the default values to the model keys. And if we want to declare our own values then the default value will be not be used when we have specified our key values so this is the very basic difference guys what we have seen in these methods escape method by default converts all the HTML values into its entities but the gate method does not convert has method check the key value actually exist into our model object or not unset is used to clear the key from our, our model object but the clear method removes all the key values from our model object defaults method by default used to give the default values to our model so all these methods guys we have seen into this video session let's recap before closing this video escape method what is the basic difference between escape method and the gate method Escape method converts all its HTML entities into its HTML code. So let's make a comment of that. Let's pass p tag for this. Just save this file, go to browser and refresh this page. We can see that the escape method converts all values into its HTML entities but the gate method does not convert it. it it prints as put it as we have expected given value so this is the basic difference between the gate method as well as the escape method let's comment that let's check this method has method basically checks this key actually exists in our array or not as we can see name underscore like does not exist into the array which we have specified it exists as a name so just refresh this page false because name underscore like does not exist into this array so just make comment of that clear method just uncomment the unset method unset method clears the key value from our array as we know that we have passed the name section only so it clears the author value from the default array because we haven't passed the author values to this array so by default it picks the author of default array so when we have used the unset method unset method basically removes the author key from default array so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page we can see that the author value has no more in this array because we have made the unset of that so just make comment of that 
and comment the clear method. While using the clear method, we have actually removed all the keys from our array. Just save this file, we can find the empty array because we have removed all the key values from our array. Just make a note of that and by default, the default attributes of backbone.model.2xn provides the default values to our key which we have specified under the model object. So all the events guys we have seen in this video session. So instead of these video events, we will see more and more events into the model in our upcoming videos. So if you have any query about these events into this model, so just drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible guys so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day